Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen, and today we are solving an interesting problem from LeetCode, rearrange array elements by sign. So let's get right into it. So let's break down our problem first. We are given an array of uh, equal number of positive and negative integer, and we need to rearrange this array so that every pair of integer has opposite sign and the order of integer with the same sign is preserved and the array begins with positive integer. So it's really simple as that. Uh, we will solve this problem in Python. So let's start by creating two lists, one for positive integer and another for negative integer. And we can use list comprehension in Python to accomplish this. And our solution method, rearrange array in the solution class will look as follows. So separate positive and negative numbers using list comprehension. So positive num for num in nums if num greater than zero, negative num for num in nums if num is negative and initialize an empty list to store the real range elements. And result will be loop over half the length of the original array. So alternatively append a positive and a negative number to the result list. So for i in range, length divided by two without remainder and result append positive with i and result append negative with i index and return the rearrange list. So return result. So as simple as this. So uh, let's run our solution to see if it's working for a given test case. So yeah, it's working. And as you can see, uh, we correctly rearrange the array elements to satisfy the condition. So our solution pres uh, preserves the order of positive and negative number and ensure that every consecutive pair of integer has opposite signs. So starting with a positive, then negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So this is how you can solve the rearrange array elements by sign problem in Python. And the key here is to separate positive and negative numbers and then alter between them. So let's run it for unseen test cases. Uh, it will take some time. Yeah, and our implementation beats 91% of runtime and 45 uh, in memory, so really good. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coding tutorials. And thank you for watching. Keep practicing and happy coding. See you next time.